Got a little bit of uh, oak to split here. I, I think it's a, I think it's a red oak. So, got the Connie, and we got the Rexford. This is unbranded, and the Rexford. And uh, this one's a little heavier, about uh, three quarters of a pound heavier. So let's see uh, what the Connie does first. The handle's a little longer, I believe. Split this little thing. Whoops. I'm just trying to turn it. <laughs> I guess not. It's pretty uh, short. <laughs> oh, man, I love oak. Who doesn't love split oak? I'm trying not to uh, muscle this too much. A little harder to split than that last stuff I had. But um, I kind of like that. There we go. Oh, beautiful. I love oak. I have COVID. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't smell a thing. No, nah, I can. I did actually have COVID, but wasn't a big problem. Let's switch to the Rixford. A lot shorter handle. Funny enough, I never even measured this handle. I don't even know. I don't even know how long it is. It feels like a 28 or something. Oh, much better. It's just a little weight behind it, I think. Whoops. Wow, that was like an inch. Another inch. <laughs> I just used the pole. Okay. Let's go for something bigger. Not a crack in sight. Um, I'm trying to think, should I use this big round? I mean, should I split this big round? Because there's a little bit of value in here. I could make a chair, uh, a little bench into this, or a seat, I mean, stool. I could make a tiny little table. Oh, I love the medullary rays so much. One of my favorite parts of uh, oak. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. That's going back. <laughs> I think there's a knot in this. Right in the dirt. Oh, this is real, a real sticky mud, you know? It's almost like clay. Hey, you get your handle dirty. Makes it look better. <laughs> this one can use a little, a little more. Oh, that was a miss. Big miss. Uh, oh yeah, look at that knot. I don't do a lot of uh, ground splitting. Let's 
see if I can get this done. There we go. Did it split? Almost. <laughs> Let's use this as a chopping block. I'm going to do a ton of splitting. I think we solved that the, uh, the Connie is nowhere near the splitter as the Ricks were, at least for this uh, red oak. There we go. All right. Do you quarter? Or do you just go straight to the uh, the small firewood pieces you're gonna end up having? Whoa. There we go. That knot was, it was saying no thank you. That was dumb. <laughs> Another miss. Even worse, miss. <laughs> wow, that knot's really. I don't advise doing that. We'll just keep going. This is a lot harder. Okay. I'm gonna split this one in half. Aruno. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but my back hurts a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I should have done some stretches. Let's do some stretches, boys. <laughs> if you can't touch your toes, you're not allowed to, uh, you can't drink water today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You got to drink. Come on. That's a, that's a bad one. That's some bad rules right there. I'm a bit of a dictator. There we go, now we can split this one in half. Oh, some knots in this bad boy. This will make it easier, split it right there. Man, this stuff is really pretty. Not sure how well you can see it, but it's a sight to behold. In the ground. Oh, come on. That just misses. It's been split already. There we go. All 
Oh yeah, that is still oversized. Not sure if I'm in camera. A little harder to split uh, thick, dense stuff on the ground. All right, that's about enough. Oh wait. Whoops. That's about enough. Thanks for watching. Let me set you up with a little beauty shot. Whoops. <laughs> Not the sharpest tool. A little sharper there. Oh, come on. Don't be, don't be hitting each other like that, guys. You're brothers. You're brothers. Come on, be nicer. All right, guys.